Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome back to the Crypto Bully Bear Dakota channel. Now here, I'm going to break down and explain to you why I believe that this has nothing to do with Bitcoin and it has to do with everything about XRP. Now, if you made it to this far, I just want to thank you for putting up with me and my shaky hands watching this video. Now, if you notice, he actually says that he's going to play a link for Lisa, as well as there's a cubing link on the desk, which I really think that Chainlink is a big coin to watch. Now, I'm just going to go over this particular video that Professor Frank plays. I'm going to break it down. Why I believe this is XRP and not about Bitcoin. Part, son. People think I'm a nerd, but I'm actually super cool. That's why I'm here to talk about the really cool subject. Now, if you notice what he said, people think I'm really a nerd, but I'm actually super cool. If you know about Bitcoin, you have to solve mathematical problems, very hard problems, in order to mine for Bitcoin. You have to be a nerd. But he says, I'm not a nerd. I'm actually super cool. Meaning that he doesn't use any type of energy. He's pre-mined already. Bitcoin uses energy. He doesn't. Look at his tie. He's also blue. He's looking cool. And he also says, off a of distributed consensus-based cryptocurrency, which is the XRP ledger. Exactly what they're talking about. Let's keep it moving. Distributed consensus-based cryptocurrency. Kachinga. He also says, Kachinga, meaning let's get paid. Now, this next episode, we got a guy on the bike. He's going to go from one point over these trucks to another. I believe those trucks represent the bank trucks, and these are all different banks, as well as he's going to one end to the other as a bridge, like a bridge currency. So let's just roll. That's what my vision is. It's not financial advice. I'm just giving you my outlook on this particular episode. Can a nerd do that? I don't think so. Now, he's basically saying, can Bitcoin actually be the bridge currency? He don't think so because it's too slow. It doesn't work. XRP is super cool. Doesn't have to be mined, pre mined, ready to go, plenty of it. Let's roll. Cryptocurrency to work, we need a record of every transaction that occurs. These are recorded in what's called a distributed ledger. I'm a consensus of shared and synchronized digital data spread across no. Now, right here, I know this is probably going to be a little far reached, but. This is my own vision, again. There it says, not a nerd. Telling you, not Bitcoin. Not a nerd, not Bitcoin. Now, look on the bottom, it says, spread across multiple platforms. He's talking about himself, if you listen, he goes, I'm spread across multiple platforms. Okay, I'm gonna break this down to you. I see spread, now I see across. If you take across, and you drop the A and you got cross. You tilt the cross, you have an X. Multiple. You got, when you have ripples, you have multiple ripples. There's multiple. I would think multiple would represent R for a ripple. A cross, I would, I would think it would represent the X. As you know, as a cross, as you tilt it, you have an X. And then you have P as in platforms which the P is P, meaning X for across, R for multiple, P for platforms. Now again, I'm not saying that's exactly what it is. I'm just telling you what I vision and what I see in this particular thing. They're trying to make us believe they're talking about Bitcoin. You got the B's all over it in your face. You got the 777 showing you, you know, you're going to hit the jackpot with Bitcoin, da-da-da. But again, 
Bitcoin doesn't have a face. You don't have customer service on Bitcoin. If something goes down, who are you going to speak to? There's nobody to hold responsible. I don't think anybody would really think that the government would chase after a nobody. If something went down with Bitcoin and they can't get their transactions or something happens, no. Sorry. Again, let me not to go off, but I think that says XRP, not Bitcoin. Let's play it. Live on some Shanghai to Grenada. Each day I'm closer to being cash He's of the telling future. you he's going to be cash not of the future. In your wallet, I'm in your computer. Oh yeah. When you use the currency. <laughs> Okay, in my previous reader videos, I broke it down why I thought XRP was a currency and not a security. But here again, just for anybody who missed it, he basically says that this guy is going to pay with the transaction. Well, he's going to pay with a ledger. Now, in my previous ones, I said if you looked at the surfboards in the back, they're hanging on bamboo sticks. If you look over to the left where the flippers are and the picture frame to the right, I mean, I'm sorry, to my left, the picture frame is in a bamboo frame. The boards are hanging up on bamboo. If you ever watch Bearable Bull video, he has intros and then he has videos at the end of his clips. He had this video on bamboo on how it grew. And how you would wait five years and it would do absolutely nothing. And then within, I think, a five-month span, it shot up like you'd never seen something grow before. And I just feel that that's another reason why this is XRP. Because you have to be patient with XRP. You have to wait. The big dog doesn't usually... When you know you're a big dog, you ain't going to come out and bark... Right in the beginning. You're going to lay back in the cut and wait until somebody picks on you and then show them what's up. Usually the guy with the big mouth always bark, bark, bark. Don't really got no bite. XRP knows what they're doing. The Ripple team know what they're doing. This lawsuit case is going to go down in history. They're just delaying because they don't want anybody getting rich quick. Now, look at this jet ski here. We had another guy. A favorite of mine, Crypto Mason. He has a YouTube channel. Now, if you go back and you listen to some heavy metal alternative, there's a group called Grateful Dead. If you look at that particular picture of the jet ski, it kind of has the same colors as the Grateful Dead sign, if you looked at the skull. My man, Crypto Mason, actually does an awesome video on the song called Ripple. And he breaks it down lovely. You should go watch it. Actually, subscribe to his channel because it's very heavy content that I think you would enjoy. Also, another favorite of mine is New Titan 888. He breaks down a lot of things on the XRP. And that color purple, that big rug right there, color purple. He's got some interesting things to say also on his channel. And he also says how, if you notice the previous when they were on a dirt bike... He's on a jet ski. Everything's a lot high performance vehicles, high performance toys. Also, if you look at the fins to the left behind April, there's a little XRP symbol within the fins. Just things I see, my call. I want to play the rest. The action is recorded in the ledger. <laughs> I can dig it. And when one ledger book gets filled up, we add to a chain of previous books. That's the blockchain. Later, Glitcher. If you'd like to learn more about how crypt... Okay. Now here, like I said, they're really trying to make you believe that Bitcoin is the shit. How they're telling you... Uh, so I lost my train of thought. Basically trying to tell you it's expensive, it's worthless, it gobbles up a lot of energy, it's useless math problems. And they also made a nice comment at the end, which they say, also, we know who Satoshi is, but we're not telling you. 
If you looked at my second video, I talked about 1988 magazine, David Schwartz coming out with the patent, the blockchain patent, and The Simpsons coming out the following year. Now, I'm reaching, but let's just say in my crazy mind that David Schwartz and The Simpsons got together to send out a message. And as we know, Bitcoin and XRP was on the same IP address when they got patented. So maybe the Simpsons do know, really do know who Satoshi is. Maybe he is David Schwartz. Maybe he's not. I don't know. But it sure does sound funny that they do know him, but they ain't saying And they do got a character that looks like David Schwartz in The Simpsons. I believe if you go back to my Cosmos video, I point that out. So again, I think this has to do with everything about XRP. When he talks about being super cool, he's talking about not mining, not using power. And I'm going to play the rest of this clip here while they're trying to throw you off. Me, I would not invest in Bitcoin. I wouldn't. I mean, I want to see it doing good for the benefit of all other cryptos in the road and the path. But just not a fan of no face behind the coin. So I'll leave it at that. Currency Play the work. rest. Here's everything else you need to know. And goodbye from me, super cool Jim Parsons. Super cool. It went in. Now, this part over here took me a long time to figure out what the f was up with the basketball and the basket. And I was listening to Brad Grimes, back up Bradley, I think. And he had mentioned something in one of his videos stating about if XRP was going to be pegged, it would be pegged to a basket of currencies. It was going to be stable. Which I think it would have to be stable in order to these banks to feel comfortable holding it and then using it if they're going to do cross-border transactions. Can't see anything going, shooting straight down. Would have to be stable at a nice value. So this here, this is just my own belief. I mean, I don't know about the basket, but I'm putting some pieces of Bradley's video comparing to what I see. And I'm thinking that XRP can be a stable coin. And it should be pegged by a basket of currencies. And that is it for this video. I'm going to have to see if I can get a tripod and try to hold this still. And get better quality on my videos. But as of right now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like. And get more videos inside my head on what I see. We're also going to get into Back to the Future in the future but the next video i'm going to see if i can actually now break down this whole episode because i believe they also have different coins they're telling us about that we might have missed and i'd like to point those out to you all right so everybody thank you again and if you made it this far i appreciate you and i hope you're not dizzy love to all my fans out there and the watchers and I'm out.